Not for that her. calm. Yeah, but I got I got to come up with another another dog for her, and boy, did it hit me! It was like a greyhound, because a, a greyhound can run the fastest of the dogs. Oh my goodness! I just got a thing about. I told you the greyhounds are the ones that run the race. Yeah. What have we run been doing? Run the race. We've been running the race and yeah. wanting to finish well. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Very. I did not get that when we were in there. I didn't get that either. <laughs> Over but there, we but we, we see it. it, don't we? Yeah. Because she was told she was told to go online. Yes. And give what we give, give you. you. And the importance of that is that he didn't say give what I give you. He mm -hmm. said give what we give we you. We give you. And the like, we is. We give you. Yeah, for if you're just tuning in and you're like, who are these crazy Christians? Mm -hmm. Tell them who the we is. We. That that's obvious. They know. No, I'm saying there are going to be people watching this video oh, okay. after we're gone and they don't know. Okay, we is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Right. And so as we sit in the sun, if you're a person who has never known Jesus and you've seen all of these people, these crazy Christians have disappeared. And by the way, we just had a 444, which I saw. <laughs> um, if you've never heard, you don't know what's going on, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you may have heard of that because you don't understand it. The Father is like the sun, the ball of fire. The light, Jesus is the light of the world. No one comes to the Father except through Him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the, to the Father except through Him. So He's like the light from the sun. And then the Holy Spirit is, when you're in the sun, this warmth that you feel on your skin, that's, mm -hmm. that's the Holy Spirit. The energy. And the energy. Mm -hmm. The power. Yeah, I've got the, the power. <laughs> Do, 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 everybody dance now. <laughs> Which, about two weeks ago, God told me to look up dancing. I was like, God, I, I can't wait to be singing singing dancing to you in heaven. And, and he said, dancing. And then, we're going to dance. Um, we're going to dance. I'm going to dance. We're going to dance. Very, very likes to dance. And Kim Mosley sent me that Neil Young Harvest, Harvest, hello, Harvest Moon. We're we are workers in the field for the harvest. The workers are few. The harvest is about to take place. Mm -hmm. And Kim Mosley sent me that Harvest Moon Neil Young song, which I'd never heard of. And it talks about dancing, too. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, so the dog thing. Yeah. So she's a greyhound. She runs. Oh, yeah? the, you are. And now we know even. Golden tree. Well, you? wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> We're going to get to that. Okay. okay so she's, she's a greyhound or a and, and she can interchange whichever dog she wants to be. Yeah. But she runs the race. She runs the race, which a greyhound does. And then she's very calm and she's beautiful. She's just like very calm and beautiful. I'm a, I'm a beautiful greyhound. <laughs> but then she said, I really like that dog that always has a smile on its yeah, face. And so we started looking. I said, I said, Labrador or Golden Retriever? And she said, what? Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever. She wants to be a Golden Retriever. Yeah. Okay. I love that dog. And I've had two golden retrievers, and they're wonderful, so, loving dogs. And and right. I, my gold, my second golden retriever, um, Sadie, actually, truly, even showed her teeth to smile. Oh, and when smile. she smiled, she would start sneezing. It was the most hilarious oh. thing because she would be. <laughs> <laughs> it was, was hilarious. Funny. And actually, that is not any. That's not unusual. Supposedly, the vet says that dogs that smile they have this fluid that runs into their nose mm -hmm. because they smile and that's why they sneeze yeah um so i don't know if y'all are thinking while while we're sort of rambling on <laughs> of what kind of dog terry is but i think i'm a border collie oh my goodness i just as soon as i said that i had the holy spirit plop something down into my head um oh i'm gonna have to put this in the description there is a, a guy named Todd Friel with the Wretched Radio oh. Program. He he was part of Living Waters um, Way of the Master, uh, where it's where I got trained in my evangelism. Uh, you go on Living Waters YouTube, they show you how to share the gospel with people. But time is up, so don't even worry about going there. Um, you you have either shared the gospel because you love what Jesus has done for you and you want to tell others, or you haven't and if you have it and you still are here, I'd get a, I'd get right on that. I th I think I'd be calling some people that are lost in my family, that are um, destined for hell, unless 
but we do need to share the gospel. Fairy, you've shared the gospel with your family in Iran. Yes, I did. And? And some of them listen, and they say, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> some of them, they don't listen, they didn't listen. And uh, my niece listened, and she actually converted to Christian. Amen. So, amen. And my nephew is listening, is still listening to me, and is still learning, uh, researching. And, uh, but he he does he is not Christian yet. yet. <laughs> yes, yet. But yeah, he, he is researching. Yeah. So back to the border collie. The reason why I got put this in my spirit, as I said that, was that Todd Friel has a message on. Wretched Radio. I'll put the link in the description. It's called, Are You Really a Christian? And when he goes and delivers this messages at churches, he says, I am the sheepdog who is biting at the heels of the sheep and trying, the pastor won't do this because the pastor's like, oh, you're so sweet and I don't want to offend you or anything. But he brings the sheepdog in and the sheepdog is nipping at your heels and saying, you know, you need to repent of this, you need to repent of that. And he goes through the test for whether you're truly saved or not, which is um, 1 John, the book of 1 John has 10 different tests that say who is a real Christian. Mm -hmm. Such as in chapter 3, it says, if you deliberately go on sinning, you are not a child of God, you are a child of the devil. That's not something that pastors are going to come right out and tell you, but it's the absolute truth. If you are living a a sinful life where you do not want to give up your sin God says I, I gave them over right we were studying Romans 1 yesterday he's not he will not force you into repentance yes. so um, so I guess that's the way I have functioned in the body actually because I've been I've been a sheepdog I've nipping at the yeah really you are I am aren't yes, I yes you are and I'm like hello examine yourself, yeah, examine yourself. You, you, repent repent <laughs> Back yeah. to Jacob, because that's what, as soon as we finished the conversation with Jacob, Barry was like, Terry, he's not, I don't think, you don't think he's saved, you? And I was like, no. But I was trying to tell him, in as I was talking to him, I was telling him the gospel, right? right. He was listening, and, and yeah. but he's not, he's not saved. He's a, <laughs> right, he's a Christian, he's been in a Christian home, he's 20. 26 and um, he thinks just because he's been in a Christian home that he's a Christian but he's not yeah. so, at, so I put Barry on the spot because she actually has a gift of evangelism also I put her on the spot and I said okay I'm going to the restroom here's your are you good enough to go to heaven um, a gospel track and I'm going to call for, for Jacob to come over and then I left and then this is the short the short sweet message of Barry what you tell what you tell him uh, he came and said yes. <laughs> I said I just want to give this to you, the gospel track. And he said thank you. And I said um, have you born again, Christian? And then he said yes. I said do you know what that means? He was like yes, but I I am sure he doesn't know. Yeah. He didn't know. I said yes, and I thought he got offended. Mm -hmm. And I said, good. Uh, it's just, we just want to make sure you're going to make it to heaven because we love you. And he says, oh, thank you. And he left. Right. So we're praying for Jacob. Yes. Um, you never know. It might have been the prayers of his mother that got us to be yeah, maybe. In his, at his table on a very important day. I did tell him. Um, you know why we were so excited I told him I told him also you know hey you're 26 but fairy's four and I'm 12 <laughs> so I'm gonna close this video because I know it's getting long hey three three uh oh it's about to come to three 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 but I wanted to um, the funniest thing is we we're in there and you know y'all if anybody's watched me you know that I've always got a song going on right that's why I can say rapture happy day resurrection happy day I, he speaks to me in lyrics so we're there and all of a sudden the song lean on me came on right right and i, I picked up on these things i it's in, in the background it's like 
And so I'm dancing and I'm thinking about it. God has blessed us so much with each other, right? Right. Yeah. It's a miracle. So it's a miracle how he put us together mm-hmm. and to um, support each other and to love each other. And um, I just want to tell you, Barry was obedient to God to get baptized. And we're not going to go into all the details, but God worked a miracle in her life yes. that her husband was filing for divorce on the same day as she was recording her testimony. And she's a private person and she doesn't want to share this, but we were praying about what do, what does Barry do? Her husband's filing her divorce on the day she's recording her testimony. And her husband is a secular Muslim, I guess you would say, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not a practicing Muslim. No. No. So we're like, she's praying and we're praying together. And she felt in her heart that she was supposed to submit to him. Mm-hmm. And I opened up the Bible as soon as we finished the prayer, and I opened up to Romans 12. I don't remember the exact number. I think it might have been 10 or 12, and it's, um, but it was submit. It was humble, humble yourself like a child. Something like that. Yeah, humble yourself. Uh, humble yourself in, in front of your God. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, um, that's what she did. <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> no. But that's okay. But she did it for God. She did it for God. And God was well pleased with her. He ended up blessing her with that dream of seeing Jesus' face on the side of a building smiling at Barry and Terry. <laughs> yeah. And he, I mean, he canceled the divorce, right? He did. He did. And she's she's been a good girl that's what they like to use that term good girl in Iran and so yeah and I want them to know that it wasn't my fault right oh yeah <laughs> Teddy knows yeah no 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 she yeah, it wasn't my fault no so. no no you know what it, it was, was the one who was it like, wasn't it was it was totally it's a it was a spiritual battle yes. it was totally like she is in the light and the darkness cannot stand to be around the light because they're aware of their sins and this was a man who was deep in his sins yes. and he did not like the light of fairy being around him because it made him feel dirty mm-hmm. and he he is dirty I mean he's yes, dirty in he his is. sins yes. um, but God and if he if he'd kept the divorce then fine you know yeah. she's done what she can do yeah. and he leaves yeah but um, she was you know it says to remain in whatever whatever state you're in when you get saved and that if a wife is married to an unbeliever that she's to stay in that marriage and so that's what she was doing so we saw a miracle because he did drop the divorce and get this y'all he actually came to Barry's baptism yeah you know why because um, he pretend that he is supporting mm-hmm. pretend mm-hmm. yeah that's why yeah so um but in real he doesn't right yeah, if I sit down and read Bible, he's gonna get offended. Is it like you don't pay attention to me? You go to your Bible. What is it? He says actually, not just go to your Bible. It's you go to your Jesus. You go to your Jesus. Yeah, you go to your Jesus. Yeah. You go read your Bible. You go to your Jesus. You don't pay attention to me. Yeah. Like that. This is not supporting, right? It mm-hmm. doesn't matter if you you came to my baptism. Baptism. Right. Right. Exactly. But he thinks he was supporting. But he is, he is a dead man walking who does not even know. Yeah. But the amazing thing too is through this, very son Mateen, I I think he's gotten born again. Yes. I, I guess, I guess. He he sat down and read the Bible for three and a half hours the first time I gave him a Bible. Yeah. It was just amazing. Mm-hmm. Really, for him to have the attention yeah, span still, to do that. Serious Bible. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, he's praying. Like she's he's like. Praying. He prayed for 30 minutes or something, you know? I mean, yeah. reading your Bible, praying for 30 minutes, he's saved. Even though, I have to tell you, I I have prayed already about, Fairy, is Fairy going to be in heaven with me? Yes. I'd gone through Thank different God. people, and he had said yes and yes. And I said, what about my t- Oh, I probably shouldn't say his name. You did already. I did, I really? Yes, that's what. Okay. Mateen, sweet Mateen. Um... I'd already asked God, is Mateen going to be in heaven? He said yes. So, 
um, I wasn't really that I mean Thank it you. still surprised me to see the de growth and development and Mateen when he came he's on the front row of the church when Barry went into the baptism waters and I think he said yay mom <laughs> Oh, it's so sweet. It was just so sweet. Um, so I'm just going to, 